Hello friends, in my previous video, I had explained question number one, multiple choice question. Now in this video, I will explain as from the section number one, question number two. Answer the following question. Yeah, question made, chari questions, he sub questions, he compulsory as that. Unaha question important hai. Write the truth value of the following statement. Two is a rational number and two is only even prime number. Now here, P, let 2 is a rational number, Q, it is only even prime number. Then the symbolic form of the given statement is P and Q. The truth value of both P and Q are T, okay. Therefore, T and T is T and hence the truth value of the given statement is T. Next, write the negation of the following, that is there exists, X belongs to set of natural number such that x plus 8 is greater than 11. Now the negation of this is for every x belongs to set of natural number x plus 8 is less than or equals to 11. Next question. Write the negation of negation q implies p. What is that here? Negation of p implies q is a p and negation q. And by using this negation of q implies p. Negation of negation p implies q is negation of p. Keep this as it is and negation of q this is the negation of negation q implies p next question write the following statement in the symbolic form angle is neither acute nor obtuse whenever there is a neither nor we apply here the conjunction as and therefore the first p the angle is acute q the angle is obtuse then the symbolic form of the given statement is negation of p and negation q okay now the next, write the dwell of negation of P or in bracket Q and R, bracket complete and T. The dwell of the given statement is a negation of P, replace here R by and, and by R and C by T. And therefore the dwell of the given statement is negation of P as it is, replace R by and, and by R, T by C. And this is the dual of given statement. Easy question. Ito. Next question. If the statement P and Q are the true statement and R and S are the false, then determine the truth value of P implies Q or R implies S. The P and T kashe the true it. T implies T or R and S both are the F. Therefore, the F implies F. T implies T is a T or f implies f is t t or t it is a t okay therefore the truth value of the given statement is a 2 next if a matrix a 1 0 2 2 3 4 apply the transformation c1 implies c1 plus 3 ta 2 times c3 okay now here the operations in on the first column the first column are replaced karna c1 plus 2 times t C3 that is a 2 into 2. Kitty on the 4. 4 plus 1, 5. Therefore, you will get your 5. Next, 2 plus 2 into 4, 8. 8 plus 2. Then you are getting the 10. Therefore, the matrix A is a 5, 0, 2 and 10, 3, 4. This is the answer. Next question use suitable transformation on 1, 2 matrix on 1, 2, 3, 4 to convert it into an upper triangular matrix. Let A is the matrix 1, 2, 3, 4. To convert the upper triangular, consider this as a diagonal, makes this 3 as a 0. And for this, by the operation R2 minus 3 times R1. Ata hithi 3 hai. 1 la 3 times karna hai, to minus karna hai chavadna. Keep R1 as it is, 1, 2 as it is, and therefore 3 minus 3 into 1, that is a 3, minus 3, that is 0. 4 minus 2 into 3 that is a 6 4 minus 6 then you are getting the minus 2 and this is the upper triangular matrix next question in triangle abc angle a is 40 60 degree b is 3 c is 8 then find a by the cosine rule a square is equals to b square plus c square minus 2 bc cos of a now here angle a is a 60 b is 3 c is 8 substitute the value in this formula a square is equals to 3 square a is replaced by 3 kernel 
b is replaced by 8 minus 2 3 into 8 cos of 60 3 square is 9 8 square is 64 2 into 3 6 into 8 48 cos 60 is 1 upon 2 and therefore after simplification you will get that is a 9 plus 64 73 48 into 1 upon 2 you are getting 24 73 minus 24 then you will get 49 okay and therefore taking the square root on both sides a square manje kiti ta 49 taking the square root you will get a is equals to 7 next question in triangle abc if a is 2 b is 3 and sine of a is a 2 by 3 then find b by the sine rule again here a upon sine a is equals to b upon sine b substitute the values a is a 2 sine of a is a 2 by 3 and b is a 3 sine b and here after the multiplication if you get the 2 by 1 multiplied and reciprocal 3 by 2 is equals to 3 upon sine b okay with this simplification calendar 3 sine b is equals to 3 therefore sine of b is equals to 1 that is nothing but the pi by 2 sine of pi by 2 and hence angle b is equals to pi by 2 same question with a repeat okay next question find the value of sine inverse of sine of 5 pi by 3 sine inverse of sine of pi pi by 3 is equals to alpha therefore sine alpha is equals to sine of pi pi by 3 where alpha lies between minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 okay but alpha is equals to 5 pi by 2 is not lying in this minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 hence we have to find out value of alpha which satisfies it lies it must lies between minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 yeah okay now 5 pi by 3 can be written as 2 pi minus pi by 3 okay and there sine of alpha is equals to sine of 2 pi minus pi by 3 now here the sine of the formula is 2 pi minus theta is equals to minus sine of theta okay and therefore sine alpha is equals to minus sine of pi by 3 now again one more formula sine of minus theta is equals to minus sine theta okay by using this result we can write sine alpha is equals to sine of minus pi by 3 now the alpha is equals to minus pi by 3 lies between minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 okay and this is the value and hence sine inverse of sine of 5 pi by 3 is equals to minus pi by 3 next question find the principal value of cos inverse of root 3 upon 2 the principal value branch of cos inverse of x is 0 to pi it lies in 0 to pi okay let cos inverse of root 3 by 2 is equals to alpha alpha lies between 0 to pi therefore cos of alpha is equals to root 3 by 2 and that's nothing but pi by 6 and here the pi by 6 alpha is equals to pi by 6 is lies between 0 to pi okay and therefore the principal value of cos inverse of root 3 by 2 is pi by 6 is the question is okay now the next what is the principal value of branch of sec inverse of x now the kids of operation right direct straight forward the principal value branch of sec inverse of x is 0 to pi minus pi by 2 okay next find the principal value of cot inverse of minus 1 by root 3 the principal value branch of cot inverse of x is 0 to pi okay and therefore cot inverse of minus 1 by root 3 is equals to alpha where x lies between 0 to pi okay and therefore cot of alpha is equals to minus 1 by root 3 that is equals to minus cot of pi by 3 cot of pi by 3 value kiti 1 by root 3 and therefore again this can be written as cot of alpha is equals to minus cot of pi by 3 can be written as cot of pi minus pi by 3 and after simplification you will get alpha is equals to 2 pi by 3 and hence the principal value of cot inverse of minus 1 by root 3 is 2 pi by 3. Next, in triangle ABC, A is 2, B is 3 and sine of A is a 2 by 3. Then find the B. Okay. 
हा क्वेश्चन पुनः एनपीटी अपने विचार के प्रश्न तो ओके बाय दिस साइन रूल यू कैन सी दिस बी इज फाइव बाई टू नेक्स्ट फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ साइन इन ब्रैकेट साइन इनवर्स ऑफ थ्री बाय फाइव प्लस कॉस इनवर्स ऑफ थ्री बाय फाइव नाउ वी नो दैट द साइन इनवर्स ऑफ एक्स प्लस कॉस इनवर्स ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू फाइव बाय टू वेर एक्स लाइज बिटवीन माइनस वन टू प्लस वन थ्री बाय टू लाइज बिटवीन माइनस वन टू प्लस वन एंड हेन्स साइन इनवर्स ऑफ थ्री बाय फाइव प्लस कॉस इनवर्स ऑफ थ्री बाय फाइव इज इक्वल्स टू फाइव बाय टू एंड देर फॉर यर साइन नॉ साइन इनवर्स ऑफ थ्री बाय फाइव प्लस कॉस इनवर्स ऑफ थ्री बाय फाइव बट वॉट इज अ साइन नाइनटी साइन नाइनटी इज वन एंड देर फॉर इट इज अ साइन ऑफ फाइव बाय टू दैट इज इक्वल्स टू वन एंड हेन्स आंसर इज वन नेक्स्ट फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ कॉस इनवर्स ऑफ कॉस ऑफ सेवन फाइव बाय सिक्स एंड अगेन दिस कैन बी रिटर्न कॉस ऑफ वाई इज इक्वल्स टू कॉस ऑफ सेवन फाइव बाय सिक्स वेर वाई लाइज बिटवीन जीरो टू फाइव ओके वाई इज इक्वल्स टू सेवन फाइव बाय सिक्स डज नॉट सेटिस्फाई दिस कंडीशन and hence we have to find the value of y which satisfies as it lies between 0 to pi again it can be written as 7 pi by 6 kasa lithe it is a 2 pi minus 5 pi by 6 where 5 pi by 6 belongs to 0 to pi and hence cos of y is equals to that is the cos of 7 pi by 6 is equals to cos of 2 pi minus 5 pi by 6 cos of 2 pi minus theta Is cos theta, and hence it is a cos of phi u phi by six, and therefore y is equals to phi u phi by six, and hence cos inverse of cos of seven phi by six is equals to phi u phi by six. Okay. Next question. Show that the lines represented by x square plus six x y plus nine y square are coincident. The coincident condition h square minus a b is equals to zero. Comparing the equation x square plus 6xy plus 9y square is equals to zero. H should compare करना है x square plus 2xy plus by square is equals to zero. The value of a is one, 2h is six, h is therefore h is three, b is nine. What's the value h square minus a b? That is a three square minus one into nine, nine minus nine, and that's equals to zero. And hence the condition of coincidence is satisfied. Therefore, since h square minus a b is equals to zero. And therefore, the lines represented by x square plus 6xy plus 9y square are the coincident. Okay. Next question. Show that the lines represented by the equation x square minus 6xy plus 9y square is equal to zero are coincident. With the sign change, of course, plus or minus are equal. Again, with the comparing with a x square plus 2xy plus by square is equal to zero, we have a is equal to one, h is minus three, b is nine. H square minus a b which value find out करना again it is a minus nine square minus one into nine nine minus nine is equals to zero lines represented by x square minus six x y plus nine y square is equals to zero are coincident okay now the next question write the separate equations of the lines represented by the equation phi x square minus nine y square is equals to zero simple question है a square minus b square सा formula इतने apply करना Root 5x bracket square minus 3y bracket square is equals to zero. Separate it. Root 5x minus 3y in another bracket. Root 5x plus 3y is equals to zero. Hence, the separate equations of the lines are root 5x minus 3y is equals to zero. And another is a root 5x plus 3y is equals to zero. Next question. Show that the lines represented by the equation. X square minus 2xy minus 3y square is equals to zero are distinct. To show that the lines are distinct, means what? H square minus AB ha kasa pa ije? So positive pa ije. Again, comparing the equation x square minus 2xy minus 3y square is equals to zero. H ashi compare karna. A x square plus 2xy plus by square is equals to zero. Here A is equals to kiti? The one. 2h is equals to minus 2, and hence h is equals to minus 1. B is minus 3. And therefore, h square minus a b means what? Minus one square, minus one into minus three. You are getting one plus three, which is the positive. And hence, since the h square minus a b is positive, the lines represented by h is x square minus two x y minus three y square is equals to zero are distinct. 
Now the question number 4, 24. Find the joint equation of a line passes through 3, 2 and parallel to the lines x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. As the lines are passes through the point 3, 2 and they are parallel to x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. Therefore, the equation of the line passing through the point 3, 2 and parallel to x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. When you think the the passes through and it is a parallel to x is equal to 2. When you think the equation of the line, x is equal to 3. Another line is parallel to y is equal to 3 and it passes through the point 2. Therefore, the equation of, of our required line is y is equal to 2. Another line. Okay. Therefore, x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 2. These are the required lines. Can be written as x minus 3 is equal to 0 and y minus 2 is equal to 0. And their joint equation x minus 3 into y minus 2 is equal to 0. Next simplification x into y x y minus 2x minus 3y minus minus multiplication plus and therefore xy minus 2x minus 3y plus 6 is equal to 0 is the required joint equation of a line passing through this point and parallel to these lines x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. Next question. Find the direction cosines of the vector 1 uh, that is i cap plus 2j cap minus 2k cap. Okay. To find out the direction cosines here the coefficient a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, c is equal to minus 2 and therefore we will find out the root of a square plus a square plus b square plus c square then you will get here in root of 1 square plus 2 square and in bracket minus 2 square and overall here 1 plus 4 plus 4 is equals to a root of 9 is equals to 3 and therefore the direction cosines are a upon in under root of a square plus b square plus c square means what? 1 upon 3 first. Second is 2 upon 3 and third is a minus 2 upon 3. These are the direction cosines of the vector i cap plus 2j cap minus 2k cap. Okay. Now the next question. Find the vector equation of the plane passing through the point having Position vector i cap plus j cap plus k cap and perpendicular to the vector 4 i cap plus 5 j cap plus 6 k cap. Okay. The vector equation of the plane passing through the point a bar and perpendicular to n bar is r bar dot n bar is equals to a bar dot n bar. How formula it apply can that? But what is here a bar? A bar is i cap plus j cap plus k cap. N bar is a 4i cap plus 5j cap plus 6k cap. Then find out the value of a bar dot n bar i cap plus j cap plus k cap dot 4i cap plus 5j cap plus 6k cap. And so product there can i dot i 4 1 into 4 j dot j means what 1 into 5 k dot k 1 into 6. So product is 4 plus 5 plus 6 overall you are getting 16. And therefore the Vector equation of a plane passing through this point and perpendicular to this vector is r bar dot 4i cap plus 4j cap plus 6k cap is equals to the product of a bar dot n bar the product kithi ala to 15 ala. Kithi kasli value takli apan kithi we are substituting the value of n bar and this is the vector equation of the required plane. Okay. Now the next. What is the distance of the point P alpha from the line R bar is equals to A bar plus lambda B bar? The distance of point P alpha bar from the line R bar is equals to A bar plus lambda B bar is for the formula is in root of mod of alpha bar minus A bar bracket square minus in square bracket alpha bar minus A bar dot b bar upon mod of b bar and whole bracket square this is the formula
Now the next. These are the questions from the maths tool. Find dy by dx if y is equals to log of x to the base a. Here y is equals to log of x to the base a. the base change karna. Okay. By using the formula change down to the base. Log of x upon log of x. Log of x is the constant a. Find out the derivative of log of x which is the 1 upon x. Therefore dy by dx is equals to ddx of log of x upon log of x. That is 1 upon log of a into ddx of log of x. But what is the derivative of log of x? Is 1 upon x. And hence 1 upon log of a into 1 upon x. Therefore dy by dx is equals to 1 upon x into log a. Okay. Next question. Differentiate sine of x square plus x with respect to x. Okay. This is the composite function. Now differentiating this with respect to x, dy by dx is equal to d dx of sine of x square plus x. While on the sine side already, what is that? Cos of x square plus x into d dx of x square plus x. x square side error to get the other 2x. x side error to get the other 1. And hence, the dy by dx is equal to 2x plus 1 into cos of x square plus x. Okay. Now the next question. Find the area enclosed by the curve y is equals to 1 upon x and the x axis and the lines x is equals to e x is equals to e square okay the required area formula lower limit is e upper limit is e square y dx where y is equals to 1 upon x therefore integral e to e square 1 upon x into dx what is the integral of 1 upon x log of x this is the lower limit e upper limit e square Substitute the values log of e square minus log of e. Log of e square means what? 2 times log of e. But what is the value of log of e? Log of e is a 1. That's a base key. Yes, so one is 1. Therefore, 2 into 1 means what? 2. Log of e is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 square unit. And hence, the required area is a 1 square unit. Okay. Now, the next question. Evaluate integral. 3 raised to x minus 4 raised to x upon 5 raised to x into dx. Now separate this. Here is 3 raised to x upon 5 raised to x minus 4 raised to x upon 5 raised to x into dx. Now puna is integral 3 by 5 bracket raised to x into dx minus integral 4 by 5 bracket raised to x into dx. What is the integral of a raised to x? a raised to x integral ka is the a raised to x upon log of a. Similar here. 3 by 5 raised to x upon log of 3 by 5 minus 4 by 5 bracket raised to x upon log of 4 by 5 plus c. And hence the answer is integral 3 raised to x minus 4 raised to x upon 5 raised to x into dx is equals to 3 by 5 bracket raised to x upon log of 3 by 5 minus 4 by 5 bracket raised to x upon log of 4 by 5 plus c. Okay. Now the next question. So easy question side. Evaluate integral e raised to 4 log x upon x raised to 5 into dx. Now e raised to 4 log x, how 4 I cannot x raised to 1. And therefore you will get integral e raised to log of x raised to 5, x raised to 4 upon x raised to 5 into dx. Now whenever you have the expression like this e raised to log of a to the base c, then the answer is a. By using this formula, you will get here in here x raised to 4. x raised to 4 upon x raised to 5. That is integral of x raised to 4 upon x raised to 5 into dx is integral of 1 upon x into dx. What is its integral? Log of mod of x plus c. And hence, the answer is a log of mod of x plus c. Next question. Evaluate integral sine square x into dx. And the sine square x of formula ka the 1 minus cos of 2x upon 2 into dx. Separate this. Manja kai. Ha 1 upon 2 bahar gana rite. Integral of 1 minus again 1 upon 2 multiplicative cos of integral of cos of 2x. What is the integral of 1 dx? Is x. Integral of cos of 2x means what? Sin of 2x upon 2. Okay. And then plus c. Therefore, the integral of sin square x into dx is equals to 1 upon 2x minus 1 by 4 sin of 2x plus c. This is the answer. Next, evaluate integral x plus root x upon root x plus 1 into dx. Okay. At the numerator, the common root x. Then you will get root x plus 1 
टू द डिनोमिनेटर रूट एक्स प्लस वन डी एक्स आता रूट एक्स प्लस वन रूट एक्स प्लस वन इतने का कट होना यू विल गेट रूट एक्स वॉट इज द इंटीग्रल ऑफ रूट एक्स दैट इज एक्स रेस टू वन अपॉइंट टू एक्स रेस टू वन अपॉइंट टू मे वन एड करना दैट इज थ्री बाय टू अपॉन थ्री बाय टू प्लस सी एंड हेन्स दी आंसर इज टू बाय थ्री एक्स रेस टू थ्री बाय टू प्लस सी ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इफ एफ डैश ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स रेस टू माइनस वन देन फाइंड एफ ऑफ एक्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट एफ ऑफ एक्स मीन्स वॉट इंटीग्रल ऑफ एफ डैश ऑफ एक्स देर फॉर एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रल ऑफ एफ डैश ऑफ एक्स एफ डैश ऑफ एक्स कि एक्स रेस टू माइनस वन डी एक्स एक्स दैट इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन एक्स इन टू डी एक्स वॉट इज इंटीग्रल ऑफ वन अपॉन एक्स लॉग ऑफ मॉड ऑफ एक्स प्लस सी एंड दिस इज दी एफ ऑफ एक्स ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इवेल्युएट साइन इन वर्स ऑफ कॉस ऑफ थ्री एक्स डी एक्स कॉस ऑफ थ्री एक्स अपन साइन मध्य कन्वर्ट करते दैट इज इंटीग्रल साइन इनवर्स ऑफ कॉस ऑफ थ्री एक्स डी एक्स इज इक्व टू इंटीग्रल ऑफ साइन इनवर्स ऑफ साइन ऑफ फाइव बाय टू माइनस थ्री एक्स साइन इनवर्स ऑफ साइन थीटा इज थीटा एंड देर फॉर इंटीग्रल इन ब्रैकेट फाइव बाय टू माइनस थ्री एक्स डी एक्स आता फाइव बाय टू इज कॉन्स्टंट क्वांटिटी देर फॉर इंटीग्रल ऑफ वन डी एक्स नेक्स्ट इंटीग्रल ऑफ एक्स एना थ्री कॉन्स्टंट इतने बाहर लिना इंटीग्रल ऑफ वन मीन्स वॉट एक्स देर फॉर इट इज फाइव बाय टू एक्स इंटीग्रल ऑफ एक्स इज एक्स स्क्वेर अपॉन टू प्लस सी एंड हेन्स इंटीग्रल ऑफ साइन इनवर्स ऑफ कॉस ऑफ थ्री एक्स डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू फाइव एक्स अपॉन टू माइनस थ्री एक्स स्क्वेर अपॉन टू प्लस सी ओके नाउ दी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इवेल्युएट इंटीग्रल वन अपॉन फोर एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस थ्री डी एक्स ओके आता फोर एक्स स्क्वेर हा को स्क्वेर है दैट इज अ टू एक्स ब्रैकेट स्क्वेर थ्री को रूट थ्री ब्रैकेट स्क्वेर Again by using the formula. What is that formula? That is one upon x square minus a square into dx. Then you will get one upon two a log of in mod of. It is given as x minus a upon x plus a mod complete plus c. And therefore here one upon two one upon two a means what one upon two here and two a. यार वन अपॉन टू ए मीन्स वॉट ए कि आल तो इतने रूट थ्री आला इन टू अगेन द डेरेवेटिव ऑफ वन अपॉन इन टू डेरेवेटिव ऑफ दैट इज टू एक्स तो टू एन आर इतने ओके एंड देर फॉर वन अपॉन टू रूट थ्री इन टू वन अपॉन टू लॉग ऑफ इन मॉड ऑफ टू एक्स माइनस रूट थ्री अपॉन टू एक्स प्लस रूट थ्री ओके इतने एक टर्म तुम्हारा लक्षा ठेवा है कि टू एक्स का कोईपिशन कि तो टू ए यू हेव टू राइट To the denominator here, ddx of 2x. Then you will get 2. A means what? Root 3 and 1 upon 2. Okay, and their multiplication is a 1 by 4 root 3 log of mod of 2x minus root 3 upon 2x plus root 3 plus c. Okay. Next, evaluate integral sine of x upon cos square x dx. Okay. Now integral sin x upon cos square x dx can be written as one upon cos x. Okay. Ha cos square x ka sali na one upon cos x into sin x kali divided by cos x ka na. Integral one upon cos x means what sec x. Sin x upon cos x means what tan x. Now what is the integral of sec x into tan x? Is the sec x plus c. And hence the integral of sin x upon cos square x is equals to sec x plus c. This is the answer. Now the next. Evaluate x upon x plus two. Now this x can be written as adjustment. करना रहता है. Just like the denominator, x plus two minus two plus two minus two करना. Now split up this x plus two upon x plus two. कितने मिले तो one मिले. Next two upon x plus two. Okay, two upon x plus two. Now integral of one dx is x. Two इधर constant बाहर करना. And integral of one upon x plus two dx means what? Log of two times log of mod of x plus two plus c, okay. and this is the answer. Easy integration again. That is the integral of x upon x plus two dx is x minus two times log of mod of x plus two plus c. That is a basic question. Such that yeah, question made. Now the next question. Find find the area bounded by the curve y is equals to x square and the value of x varies from x is equals to zero to three. Therefore, the area bounded by the curve 
integral 0 to 3 y dx where y is equals to x square x square is from 0 to 3 x square into dx integral of x square is x x cube upon 3 0 to 3 3 raised to 3 upon 3 x is replaced by 0 then you will get g 0 means what 27 upon 3 then you will get 9 therefore the area bounded by the curve is 9 is the question at all again next evaluate the integral 1 upon x into log x okay here we will evaluate this integral by the method of substitution what is that put here log of x is equals to t what's its a derivative 1 upon x into dx is equals to dt and therefore this our integral changes that is a i is equals to integral dx upon x means what dt and 1 upon log x means what here 1 upon t into dt now the integral of 1 upon t is a log of mod of t plus c this is i replace this i by log of x and therefore i is equals to log of mod of log of x plus c and this is the answer okay therefore this is the answer next write the degree of the differential equation dy by dx plus 3xy upon dy by dx is equals to cos of x which is degree lh of the okay now we will simplify this differential equation multiply the whole equation by dy by dx the multiplied kernel therefore you will get here dy by dx into dy by dx plus yellow dy by dx multiplied kernel the numerator denotes the dy by dx kernel the cancel on that plus 3xy is equals to cos of x into dy by dx that is nothing but dy by dx it's a bracket square plus 3xy is equals to cos x into dy by dx therefore the degree of the differential equation is a 2 okay now here the answer the degree of the differential equation is a 2 next find the degree of differential equation in bracket 1 plus dy by dx bracket is 2 3 whole bracket is 2 7 by 3 is equals to 7 into d2y by dx square now the given differential equation okay the degree of 7 by 3 take cube on both sides the cube kela the ha 3 ka sana the cartoon then you will get 1 plus dy by dx bracket is 2 3 rest to 7 is equals to 7 raised to 3 on d2y by dx square raised to 3 on this d has the highest order derivative highest order derivative is the d2y by dx square and catches degree upon get us to okay with the power 3 and therefore the degree of the differential equation is 3 now the next question find the degree of differential equation d2y by dx square bracket is to 2 plus cos of dy by dx is equal to 0 the given differential equation since the d cannot be expressed as a polynomial in the differential coefficient the degree is not here the degree is not defined okay next find the differential equation of family of lines parallel to the line x to x plus 3y plus 4 is equals to 0 now the first the equation of the line parallel to the line 2x plus 3y plus 4 is equals to 0 is therefore the only the constant is different as now with 2x plus 3y plus c is equals to 0 where c is the arbitrary constant differentiating this equation with respect to x derivative of 2x is a 2 into 1 plus derivative of y is a dy by dx 3 into dy by dx derivative of c is 0 is equals to 0 and hence 2 into 1 2 plus 3 into dy by dx is equals to 0 therefore 3 into dy by dx plus 2 is equals to 0 this is the required differential equation 
find the degree of the differential equation dy by dx is equals to 2 sin x plus 3 upon dy by dx. It is simplification kind of cross multiplication. Therefore, dy by dx bracket square is equals to 2 sin x plus 3. dd has the highest order derivative dy by dx with the power 2. Therefore, the degree of the given differential equation is 2. Next, define the degree of differential equation. Definition deletane. The degree of the differential equation is the power of highest order derivative occurring ed. Okay. When the d is so written, then the derivatives are free from negative or fractional indices. Okay. Now the next. Write the degree of the differential equation. The given differential equation can be written as a triple dash means three times the derivative bracket square plus three into d two i by d x square plus three x dy by d x plus five y is equals to zero. Therefore, the highest order derivative is d three y by d x cube with the power two. Therefore, the degree is two. Okay. Now the next form the differential equation of family of the lines parallel to two x plus 3y plus 4 just we have completed this type of question okay and a parallel scenario see repeated question now the next obtain the differential equation by eliminating arbitrary constant y square is equals to 4x equals arbitrary constant it am the order one as y square is equals to 4x differentiating both sides with respect to x now differentiate this Derivative of y square is a 2y into dy by dx is equals to 4a. Therefore, 2y into dy by dx is equals to okay. 2y into dy by dx. 4a g upon that again value that to 2y into dy by dx is equals to 4a. Now this substitute the value of 4a. What is the value of 4a? 4a is equals to y square upon x. And therefore, 2y into dy by dx is equals to y square upon x. Now the next simplification. What is that? Here y y will get cancelled. Okay. And therefore you will get here y is equals to it is simplification kernel divided by x. multiplied on up. That is 2x into dy by dx is equals to y. Okay. This is the required differential equation. Now the next. Find the degree of the differential equation dy by dx is equals to 3y plus fourth root of 1 plus 5 in bracket dy by dx bracket square. This is the differential equation dy by dx minus 3y is equals to fourth root of 1 plus 5 into dy by dx bracket square. Uh, take the fourth power on both sides. Then you will get dy by dx minus 3y bracket is to 4 is equals to 1 plus 5 into dy by dx bracket square therefore the this is the d has the order of derivative highest order of derivative dy by dx okay with the power 4 it's a power it is the 4 a and hence the degree of the given differential equation is 4 okay. and in this way we have completed the what type of the question asked in the question number 2 for the one marks now we'll see in the next video till then goodbye